this is the dead in Christ in verse 17 says together with them, the them there is referring to the dead in Christ will rise first. They're going to come out of their graves. All right. And at the split second that they're changed, we're changed together. All right. They don't get to go first. We don't get to go first. It's going to be simultaneously. They come out of their graves. And at the time of change, both they and we who are still alive, all right, will have that mighty change take place. And we will go up to meet him in the air. Notice that. He doesn't come down to earth, walk with us. No, he comes halfway and we're magnetized to him. Choo, 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 choo. All right. We need to ask ourselves that question. What do we really love? Do we love the things of this world? Are we magnetized to certain things and people here on earth? If so, when he comes, we're liable to be stuck down here instead of going up. I want to be magnetized to him. Uh, the same spirit, the same uh desires the same love all right so when it comes i'm drawn to him amen this is not going to happen i've told you before of what the lord said to me when i was going my own way doing my own thing i was saved filled with the holy spirit but pleasing myself and the lord talked to me clearly where are you going I said, where are you going? When I answered, I don't know. And he said, I mean, are you going to heaven or to hell? And I said, of course I'm going to heaven. I wouldn't be stupid enough to choose to go to hell. And God said, you are going in the wrong direction. Now you turn this car around and you get back to your husband. And don't you ever do this again. And that's the day I understood very clearly. You cannot walk, go the way of self, pleasing self, living any old how, getting mad at this person, mad at that person, because I'd had an argument with my husband and I was mad at him and I ran out of the house and jumped into that car. And God said, don't you ever do that again. It wasn't the first time. It wasn't my husband, the only one. From the time I was little, I was doing this. And God is saying, no, if you really want to be mine, you've got to start learning from me. You've got to start letting me change you. It's not enough just to believe in me with your head. You've got to be transformed by my power. All right. 